Retired police officers staged a protest at the National Assembly in Abuja demanding action over delayed pension payments by the Pension Commission. The retirees also called for their removal from the contributory pension scheme. Our correspondent, Awesome Raphael, now brings us the reports. <laughs> The retirees under the contributory pension scheme from different state chapters protested at the National Assembly with placards bearing various inscriptions. National Coordinator of the Retired Police Officers Forum, Mr. Christopher Ethion, expressed dismay at the immense suffering they experienced due to the non-payment of pensions and gratuities. It has been promised upon promises and nothing is done. So we have come today to say, well, if it is a conspiracy in the Nigerian government, will kill us, then let us die, and let us know that we are dying in a formal way. Not just behaving as if we don't know what is happening to us. We are dying, we are suffering, we cannot feed our family, we can't take care of ourselves. The nature of the job we find ourselves have suffered us wear and tear, different sicknesses that we contracted in the course of our job, but today we have been dumped to the trash can. So please let our children in the National Assembly do us the favor, let them help us. Harmonize our bill and send it to Mr. President so that we are exited. Speaking to the demonstrators, Deputy Chairman of the Senate Committee on Police Affairs, Senator Yunus Akintunde, clarified that the bill to exit them from the contributory pension scheme is no longer valid as it was not assented to. It's still in process and I told you when I was talking that it has to do with figures and numbers and I won't talk more than that. You should understand what I mean. You have to put things together. You can't just come up and say, this is it, too. the financial application, but what they're asking for is their right. It's not a favor, and I'm sure with their support we can get it through. Senator Akin Tunde implored the protesters to identify representatives that will take part in the joint meeting to create a link between the National Assembly and the retirees. This, he said, will ensure they are well informed about the steps being taken to address the issue. Awesome Raffle, ADBN News.